in this example a ball is thrown vertically upward and it gets back to the thrower uh, in 6 seconds so from the graph we have to calculate the acceleration deceleration total distance covered and the average velocity of the ball so here the graph must be a velocity time graph okay so um, as the body or the ball is uh, moving under the force of gravity so acceleration must be a must be equal to g and deceleration must be equal to minus g okay then from the velocity time graph if we see the velocity time graph here velocity will be taken along y axis and time will be taken along x axis as initially a vertically upward direction and vertically upward direction a velocity is given to the body so initial velocity must be here in the positive direction of v at time t is equal to 0 gradually due to the action of gravity the velocity gradually comes down and decrease and here at the highest position at height h the velocity becomes 0 so gradually as it is moving under a constant acceleration deceleration so the graph will be like this it will meet at the um, time axis where the velocity is equal to 0 at time t is equal to t is equal to 3 second and then with the same acceleration or acceleration while it is moving downwards with the same acceleration that is equal to g it will move downward for another 3 seconds another 3 seconds so t is equal to 6 second here so here as we see here v will be equal to negative so in this opposite direction of y axis v will be equal uh, will be negative in nature and at uh, this highest position the velocity will go on increasing however in the opposite direction so it comes to the fourth quadrant where velocity is negative and time is positive ok so the, the graph is basically like this and we have to calculate the acceleration so here uh, we can calculate the acceleration initial velocity is something here and uh, here um, as it is moving under force of gravity or free body motion so uh, this slope of this uh, line will be equal to g minus g as body is dislocated here as the body is accelerating in the opposite direction the um, slope will be equal to plus g and this is the acceleration of the body and we have to then show what is the distance total distance covered total distance covered if you um, understand if you remember the total distance covered is equal to the area under this graph so. now the total distance covered total distance covered is equal to the area under the graph velocity time graph will give the total distance covered so total distance covered is equal to what the area of the triangle let us consider this as a b c d ok uh, so area of triangle a b o plus area of triangle um, b c d will be the total displacement or distance covered total distance covered which equal to half 3 
into acha we have to find out first what is the value of v this v so uh, v is equal to 0 here this v so v will be equal to what v will be equal to root over root to gh h is not given h is equal to ut plus half it is square um, half g t square means um, half 10 t square means 9 45 meter and then um, v is equal to of 2 gh is equal to 2 45 into h h is the height g 9.10 root so that is the value uh, if you calculate it to be 30 okay this is the velocity initial velocity meter per second so this value is 30 so this v is equal to 30 half 30 into 3 plus same half this is again 30 30 here minus 30 uh, minus 30 and in time t the 90 90 is the distance meter is the total distance covered height of 60 is here also we can see that if h is equal to if uh, the distance covered from this point to this point is equal to your 45 then um, total distance is 2s is equal to 90 meter so here this is the value of distance covered by the ball in time 6 seconds calculated from the graph then the average velocity average velocity here always the definition of average velocity v average will be equal to displacement total displacement by total time here total displacement is what total displacement the body comes back to its original position so total displacement become, uh, displacement becomes zero so displacement by six is equal to zero so average velocity here in this case is equal to zero however if you uh, want to calculate the average speed average speed then we have to find out uh, the distance by time which is called distance is equal to 90 meter by time is 6 so this will be equal to uh, 15 meter per second this is the average velocity sorry average speed throughout the motion okay